Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tech. Uh, I guess I should go downstairs for this intro. Um, welcome to Tech It Out <laughs> with Mioix Foo. Thought I'd try, you know, a little bit more of a sweep. Um, but actually, this is this is the as of the gap between last episode and the episode. And this episode, <laughs> not the episode before it, um, this will not be our most technically advanced room. Um, in fact, if we head over here to where, gotta make sure there's no one around because it's nighttime, where we had started setting up the quarry base of operations. Um, you know what, let's go around because there's a spider. Last thing I want to do right now is fight a spider without any weapons. Well, I mean, I'd love to sp fight a spider that doesn't have any weapons. I don't want to sp fight a spider when I don't have any weapons. Um, I guess the first thing is we have a new building. Um, oh crap, there he is. I finished the building to house the quarry, and I might die here because there's a little bit of lag because I'm using a new server setup. And damn you spiders, you are you are a feisty one, aren't you? Aha! But I have prevailed. Ooh, that is a actually a nice landscape. That's a nice little picture right there. Come on, sheep, get back huh, I wanted you to get back in the picture, sheep. Is it F twelve? No, it's I won't take a screenshot. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, it's F2. There we go. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Matt most stopped, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it looked nice. Um. Anyway, what I was saying. Yeah, we have a new building, and we'll go check it out right... N not right now, because we gotta go around. Um, I have expanded the sheep pen a little. Gotten myself quite a bit of wool, actually. Died a couple more. You know, we've, we've got, uh, we've got quite the thriving wool business going. But, as you can see, this is the coring facility. And I have upgraded the aesthetic. Uh, we now have nice blue and light blue carpet. Nice window looking out on the quarry. I let this run for, oh, I don't, I think this took, like, a few days, actually. Um, after all, we're only using steam engines, I think... I let them run dry, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but if we go up here, if we go up here, well, we can get a nice view of my handiwork. Uh, I don't know, I, fi I figured go for a nice open, open top building, and the most important part is actually here. We have right here our uh, sheep engineer. Uh, I've named, I've christened him Bernard, the sheep. How is it going, Bernard? Ah, uh, it's going quite well. And uh, his primary job is to oversee these red stone, this red stone that I've laid down. Quite a good job there, Bernard. Uh, because what we are going to do is, well, you'll see I have a few items uh, in my, oop, bit more of a drop than I expected in my inventory and now that we have quite a few materials I think it's time that we get this uh this operation really going if you know what I mean I hope you do because I don't really know um first things first let's get uh quite a few pistons let me let me actually check how many holes we have up here Three by two, three, four, five. So we need 15 pistons. Almost there. Because I will show you in a minute what I'm actually driving at. Three, four, five. 15 pistons. All set. We're actually going to make a power... Well, not a power... I, I want to call it a power distribution facility above this coring facility. So we need to make a bunch of steam engines, which means we need to make oof, a bunch of stone gears. I did not anticipate that. 
So we, whoa. Like I said, I'm using a new, <laughs> I'm, I uh, switched the server over from my laptop to um, Farnham, um, an older desktop that I have. Uh, that is, he's named after Farnham the Drunk from Diablo 1. So there is a little bit of lag. Um, I'm probably going to turn it over at some other point, just... Just to try and, uh... Whoa. See what I'm saying about the lag? I thought I had... I thought that I had four stacks. Guess not. <laughs> um, I am going to try to uh, get him running on another distribution, because right now he's running on the next mint, and I see that seems to be taking up too many resources. Uh, usually I'd run him on Crunch, crunch Bang, but for some reason I couldn't get that running, so I think I'm going to be switching back to FreeBSD. You guys don't need to know any of this. As far as you may be concerned, I'm speaking in tongues right now. Actually, I forgot we need glass. Boy, do we ever need glass. Because I think it's one glass for... Let's check. Yes, one glass for each engine. So we're going to need 15 glass. Do we... Oh, God damn it! I keep <laughs> throwing those down. Do we have any glass? Any glass whatsoever? Does not look like it. Great. Oh, great. This is this is perfect, perfect way to start off this brand new episode. But while I'm getting the sand and getting the glass, um, I think I'm just gonna turn one into glass and then uh. I think I'm just going to turn one into glass, and then I'm just going to wait for it to uh, go through so that I can put it through uh, here and make some more that way. You know, it's been a while since we uh, had our old machines running, smelting stuff, so might as well. Let's see how it goes. Ah. Are you going the right way? Um, no. That is... Where are you going? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm glad I caught this, because uh, we can't have that happening. Hmm. I don't know why I had an obsidian pipe there. Oh well, it'll despawn. It's not that big of a deal. It's just one obsidian pipe piece. Um, while we're, we're, we're waiting for that, though, I've got some important things to discuss with you guys, because, I mean, a lot has happened over the past few days. I mean, oh man, I know that one thing in particular has just, just occurred that's going to change just everything. It's going to, oh, everything is just, I mean, it's not going to really change. I mean, I say it's going to change just because it's a big event, but, I mean, everything's pretty much going to stay the same. I'm talking, of course, about, well, here in Massachusetts, we just got snow yesterday. And, I mean, it's an early snow. I mean, it's not as early as we had last year with, uh, what was it, uh, October we got snow, but, I mean, it was still pretty early. I mean, that's just, uh, it's, 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 it's... I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I really like snow, but it's just that, uh... And it wasn't totally unexpected, it was just... There were a bunch of people that were unprepared. And... Well, living in Massachusetts, you kind of... You kind of... Get used to these things happening. I mean, it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, it's like, okay, it's getting near winter, it's gonna snow. But, I mean, other people, they're up in arms about it, they don't know what to do... And they're just getting all stuck in the roads and everything. It's like, guys, guys, come on. Come on. If you're going to be up in New England, learn how to drive in the snow. I mean, I can understand that it, it's... I, I I think it's terrible for people who live in New Jersey right now that they got hit with this snowstorm. Um, all joking aside, because Hurricane Sandy did a number on people in New Jersey. Um... That is absolutely terrible. Um, but other than that, I can't think of anything that uh, actually has happened that's you know, very important. Um, 
Yeah, not really. I mean, it's it's pretty much uh, par for the course, as far as I can remember. Oh, we're gonna need a. Uh... There we go. <laughs> Let's just get another stack just in case. I don't think we need that at all, but can't hurt. Can't hurt at all. I didn't even make need to make fifteen because I've got four just ready already. Ready already. Um, is the glass not? done okay didn't go into the macerator didn't go into the furnace ah if we'd just been a few more seconds it would have been fine now we're gonna just be able to wait here watch it pop in and and there it is I'll just uh I don't know Throw that in there. Uh, one more? Yeah, there we go. It's perfect. We should have all we need to make these steam engines. So, I think it was... That goes there. These go here. And what else was there? Oh, the stone gears. How could I forget? Um, There we go. And 15 steam engines. All right. Oh, man. Can you believe that? 15 steam engines. That's crazy. Now, the way we're going to be setting up these steam engines is... Well, I guess I should go over uh, something else before we head into the steam engines. Because uh, that's, that's the thing that ties the whole project together. Obviously, they're not next to the quarry. Um, so we need to use a little something called conductive pipe and what conductive pipe is is it's basically a transport pipe and redstone and in or and what it does is it takes energy from a machine and feeds it into another machine um, wooden conductive pipes being the ones that take the energy out and usually you want to use golden conductive pipes for everything else just because it's it holds it 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 works the same as wires. It loses charge over a certain amount of time. So, oh, we're going to need more glass, aren't we? Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. There we go. That should be good. Uh, I'm just going to leave one in there, just in case. Don't want to use up all our glass like we did last time. But, if we... Just take the wooden transport pipe, throw five up there. There we go, five wooden transport pipes. Now we need ten more, so I'm just gonna... Yep, wooden glass in the middle. So, let's see, that's eight, tw sixteen, perfect. Just drop on the ground, please. <laughs> and there we go. All 15 of those wooden tr conductive pipes. And what do we have for gold? Oh, we got, a pl we got plenty of gold. Um, hmm. Trying to remember if there's... Nope. They are that expensive. Thought it was going to be cheaper, but... I should not have done that. Whoops. Well, I just used all our gold. <laughs> Oh boy. I should not have held down shift. Well, we're going to need a bunch of this anyway, so I'm going to use, well, up a stack of redstone. And we'll just throw the rest in here to remember me, remind me of my embarrassment. Oh, do we have any coal left? I think I used it all on the steam engines. Uh, we do have some coal that came up through the quarry that I haven't used yet. Um, we can condense some of that since we're going to need some. Just so I can show you guys. Oh, hey, this does work. All right. So basically, the way I've set this up is that each steam engine... Is that it? I think that's it. I'm trying to... Oh, go back up there. Trying to remember exactly how it works. Um, actually, let's jump down for a sec. Grab a piece of coal. Just 
set that up. Um, oh shoot, we're gonna have to take out one of these uh, one of these engines too, aren't we? Um, I didn't think this through completely. <laughs> um, let's see, where'd I put my? Uh, there's the wrench. Although I'm I don't know, that's the wrong wrench first of all. But we don't need a wrench to take that out. Uh, let's see. I want to take out. I'm thinking I want to take out you right there, so we can just feed in the gold conductive pipe like like so. Leave a room for the engine up there. And then just bring it down that way. No. That's going to be a... That's very inefficient, actually. Um, we're going to want to bring it up like this. Yes. Um, and then... Did I grab coal? Yes, I did. Let's just make sure that this works. Throw some coal in there. Bernard, if you would, flip the switch. Thank you, Bernard. And it's not working. So either I was wrong, and we have to have it one higher, or I just have it angled wrong. Aha! There we go! And see, now it's working. And you can see because it's got blue energy going through, and it's being fed into here, and you can see that it's that's working, because you see the items coming back up. Just get rid of that. And by next episode, um, well, we can do this right now. By next episode, I'll have all the wiring figured out, uh, with a little help from Bernard over here. And we'll be able to... Well, we'll be able to... There we go. We'll be able to mine quarries a lot faster because the thing with conductive pipe is that we can actually use this, the top of this building as, well, basically a hub. Um, oh, yeah, we didn't put the wooden conductive or wooden conductive pipe down yet. Um, we can essentially use this. Bernard, you stay where you are. There you go. That's a that's a good sheep engineer. <laughs> oh wait, I missed one. Did I? Oh no, that was from downstairs that I picked it up. Um essentially what we can do is we can use the gold conductive pipes to send power from these steam engines wherever we want. Um I mean honestly not obviously not huge huge distances, but I think you can go quite quite far without losing a huge amount of energy so actually you know what I might as well set it up now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring them down like this and hmm, do I want to do I want to go across I think I'm gonna go like this just because it looks more impressive and it should use up uh, about the same amount of pipes. I don't think there's any difference because I mean we're we're connecting them and we've we're still gonna have a space in between each one. So I'm pretty sure that's the same amount of conductive pipes. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have much coal. Otherwise, I could really give you guys a demonstration. Um. What do we have for, uh, do we pick up any goodies? I mean, obviously we've got plenty of dirt and marble. We can just throw those in. <laughs> Ooh, gravel. Gravel is very good for condensing, because it, it gets four instead of, um, one, and you get a lot of it. Oh. So let's just do that quick. You know, I'm, I'm not going to finish off the episode right away. I want to. I want to see the look of shock and awe on your guys' faces. Oh wait a minute. I won't see that. <laughs> All right. So let's see how much this will give us. 
Not a lot, it looks like. All right. Um, let's throw some Nicolite in. Ooh, Nicolite is 128 each, so we can actually get a uh, one-for-one one pull ratio from it. Um, I'm going to use one Uranium. Uh, that only that didn't give us much. Let's use four. We need some coal, man. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I'll give us uh, an entire stack in just a second. There we go. Ah, oh. that's good. That's good. I mean, we'll have to get more. But we have a way to mine. Well, we have a we have a we have a way to mine it. So we could use some lapis actually. Let's uh, see how much we get for this. Plenty. Okay, we're good. I think we'll be good for now. Bernard, Bernard, come on! We've got we've got coal. Bernard, Bernard, I'm on my way, buddy. We're gonna kick this operation into high gear. Whoops, I forgot to flip these. Alright, let's uh let's get some coal going. I'm gonna give you 16. I'm gonna give you 16. I'm gonna give you 16. I think I'm gonna just give them a 16 coal for now, because I don't want them running forever. Well, I mean obviously they're not gonna run forever, but we also just don't have the resources right now. There we go. Good job, Bernard. Oh man, this is going swimmingly. Oh. Yes, I know. It's just all all the all the all in the day's work for a sheep engineer, you know. I know you know. You you worked every day of your life as a sheep engineer. It's, yeah, I know it's hard. I know it's hard work, but you know it's it's needed work as well. <laughs> that was a funny joke, Bernard. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh man, look at that thing churning away, Ber Bernard. You've oh you've you've revolution revolutionized the way that everybody's gonna mine in this series. You can get some nasty spiders up there. Oh man, look at this, look at this. That is beautiful. Just a steady stream of materials. Oh, that's that's beautiful. But oh crap, we're running out of space. Um so actually what we're gonna do in order to make some more space. So we're gonna make a chest, but not any sort of chest. We're gonna make an iron chest, like you see right next to the workbench. Because essentially these have, I believe, that's the same amount of space close to it. Let's see. Nine. Yeah, it's the same amount of space as a large chest, so. It's pretty useful. And, you know, we're just going to plunk you right here for now. Because we, <laughs> we are definitely going to be running out of room. Um, definitely. And in fact, before we uh, close for the day, I'm going to throw some eggs, because that's always fun. And you can't even run by that place without getting some eggs. I'm actually going to use I'm actually going to show you guys what golden pipes are good for other than just uh wasting. Oh no. Oh no. Um I may have used all my redstone as well. That is not good at all. Not good at all. But hopefully we'll be getting some goodies from that uh from the quarry. Oh wait, why am I checking in there? I want to check in here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, that was close. Now we need to make a redstone torch. I think the very f 
Wait, I thought red. Oh no, redstone torch is a stick, and redstone isn't it? I think the very yeah the very first red redstone torch I've made in this series. Um, if you do not know my love for redstone, you shall know soon. <laughs> um, seriously though, redstone's awesome. Whoa, whoa. Forgot there was a hole there. Patch that up real quick. <laughs> um, we're gonna make a hole right there. Pick up the overflow. We're gonna have you come down one more. No, nope, right there. One more. And we're gonna throw a redstone torch there and Oh my god, look at that. Do you see that marble go by? Do you see how stuck I am? Whoops. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now those are just going to zip right into where they belong. Well, actually, we have got no sorting of any kind. Well, we've got box sorting, but... I really should get on that. Hmm. I really should move my condenser in here and condense all the dirt that's coming in. I mean, look at that. Hmm. Well, that's uh that's a project for another day. Um for right now. I'm calling it an episode. Um so thank you for joining me this time on Tech It Out with Mio X Fu and Oh jeez. Oh, don't don't fall down. That's the last thing we need. Ooh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my god, I nearly had a heart attack right there. There's a ravine. Hmm. Also, plenty of iron, plenty of coal. We're gonna be getting, we're gonna be getting plenty of resources. So, oh, look at that marble. Oh, this is this is great. As this thing's chugging along. It's like it's almost going as fast as I can walk, so. Look at that. Aw oh, man, this is great. Alright, I'll see you guys next time on Tech It Out with Meox Fu. Take it easy. Haha, <laughs> spider, you can't get out. Not unless you're oh shoot, you are a spider. Whew. Actually, you know what? You know what? Genoa salami. I've never eaten that, no. Because, <laughs> you know, you know, and Geno, and Genoa, and Genoa salami. We're gonna go, uh, cliff diving. I think there was water at the bottom, wasn't there? A little bit. <laughs> it's not... Oh, there it is. Alright, ready, ready, ready? Alright, ready? One for the money. Two for the show. Three to get ready, and four to go! Oh my god! <laughs> and we lived. For like, five seconds. Okay, I've gotta kill myself to get back up. Aha! Lava! Or an Enderman. Lava. Or an Enderman. Lava. Or an Enderman. A hard choice, but I'm gonna have to go with the lava because that will definitely kill me. Oh, skeletons, anyway. Oh, and a creeper. Perfect. Ha! <laughs>